Hi, it's Emma Naga. So today I'm doing this full face makeup look and this look is um, inspired and it, this video is all about the masterclass with Mario um, and Kim Kardashian. So I did my makeup exactly like how um, Mario did Kim's makeup when I went to the masterclass. I have a whole notebook full of um, tips and tricks and steps to get this makeup look. I have a bunch of the makeup products that he actually uses on Kim and on other people. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just so excited about this video. I'm so excited about this makeup. It's so gorgeous. So if you guys want to um, see how to do this exact replica of Kim Kardashian's makeup and also hear my experience um, with the masterclass, then um, yeah, just keep on watching. And um, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and um, watch in high definition. And without further ado, here comes the video. So let's get right into it. I'm going to use these little clips to clip away my bangs. Um, I got these at the masterclass. So I'm just making sure I don't have my hair in my face. So I have all my notes in this notebook that I also got at the masterclass. I actually went to um, Dollar Tree um, the day prior and got a notebook because I and some pens because I want to make sure I had something to write down on. But um, yeah, we got um, notebooks and also pens at the masterclass. So here are all my little notes. So first thing that I did last night actually is that I did a little mask. This is by KISS, I think. Yeah, this is by KISS. I got this at the masterclass. I used it last night. It's just a sheet mask. It worked really well. I think my skin looks really good. So let's move on to the first makeup step. So the first thing that Mario did was that he applied moisturizer on, on Kim's face. I have already applied my moisturizer. I always apply it, you know, when I do my skincare in the morning. But I am going to apply my sunscreen with a damp sponge because that is how Mario applies Kim's moisturizer. So I have this little witch sponge. I got this from Dollar Tree in like a huge pack of like, I don't know, 20, 30? I don't know, a lot. And I just want to show you what it looks like when it's wet. So this is, this is a dry sponge. This is the wet one, so it does expand. And I'm going to apply my sunscreen, which is Neutrogena with SPF 100. So I'm just going to shake it out real quick. And I'm going to dab this on my face and my neck. Mario was very specific that he always brings products down the neck. I do that anyway, but yeah, he's, he was very specific about that. So I'm going to try and use this sponge to blend in my sunscreen. I have never in my life used a sponge to blend in any kind of face cream. It seems to work fine, but I don't think I would actually do this on an everyday basis. I would just use my fingers. And when I apply my sunscreen, I go around the eyes, but I don't go all the way like to the lash lines because um, I don't want to get sunscreen in my eyes. It hurts. So next up, you might think, oh, now we're going to prime the skin, but no. Apparently, Kim does not use primer, so we're not going to prime. That is so crazy to me. I don't remember the last time I didn't prime my face. I always prime when I'm doing my makeup, but I am going to apply a little bit of this facial cream. This is the Sika Pear Derma Green Solution by Dr. Jart, and this is a green... Um, kind of redness neutralizing cream and I just dip my finger in here and I get that much product like just a little dip that's all you need and I'm just going to dot that on my face and then I'm just going to blend it in so I only use a tiny bit of this because it's very potent and this just helps to neutralize some of the redness in my skin I use this every day when I don't wear makeup Okay, so next step, we are going to use a skinny brow pencil. So Mario used uh, Brow Wiz on Kim in the color Soft Brown. I don't have that, I've never tried the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. But I do have the dupe from NYX in the color Taupe, which is a good color for 
my hair color, Kim's hair is a lot darker than mine. At least, you know, when she's a brunette. She was a brunette um, back in August when I saw her at the masterclass. So anyways, I'm going to use NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. And at the masterclass, uh, Mario also said that he loves to build and use a small amount of product at a time and really build up. So that is also what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by brushing up my brows. And then I'm going to start filling in the brows. And actually, I need to just I need to just tweeze a little bit. Okay, so that's much better. So let's continue. This brow is going to be a lot softer than what I would usually do. I do the thick, heavy, drawn-in brows, but Kim's are a lot more natural. Kim's brows are also pretty rounded at the tail, like they don't go into a sharp point, even though they are cleaned up with concealer. They are still they are still very like natural on the outer corner. And Mario also brushed through Kim's brows while he was doing, while he was filling them in. So we are going to do more to the brow, but for now with the pencil, that is it. So you can see the difference. It's very natural, but definitely defined. Okay, so next up, um, Mario cleaned up Kim's brows using a lighter concealer at the bottom and a darker one at the top. And he also used the concealers on the eyelids to prime the lids for eyeshadow. So Mario used Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer in 4 and 1 to do the brow framing work. I don't have that, so I'm going to use something that I do have. So I'm going to use these two drugstore concealers. So the light one here is Colourpop No Filter in the color Fair number no. 5. And this is going to be my light concealer. And then I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the color Light Ivory. And this is going to be more of my skin tone match. Is it just me or is this concealer darker and a lot more yellow than it looks in the tube? Anyways, it's fine. I'm going to continue to clean up. And I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender and I also got this at the masterclass or else it was the swirl one I don't remember which one I got I think it might have been this one but it might have been the swirl I'm not sure anyways I got a beauty blender so now I use the darker color on top and Kim's brows are rather rather round and soft they don't have a very defined like super pointy arch and I go ahead and blend that out as well so then he applied the skin tone or the darker concealer on the eyelids and blend it out with the beauty blender. Then he went ahead and set the eyelids with translucent powder by Laura Mercier, which I do happen to have, um, but mine is running really low, so hopefully I can get some product out of here. So I'm going ahead and setting the eyelids. Okay, so after that, uh, Mario went in with some Viseart eyeshadows, some browns on Kim's eyebrows. He used the neutral matte palette. I do not have that, so I'm going to use something else. I'm going to use Charcoal Brown Eyeshadow by MAC. So I'm just using Charcoal Brown on my MAC angled brush. And I'm just filling in any areas where I feel like my brows look a little bit sparse still. So those are the brows. He did not set them or anything. So next up, Mario used a cream eyeshadow over top of the powder, yes. So he used Tom Ford's Spice. I do not have that, so I'm going to use a substitute. I'm going to use the Caviar Stick by Laura Mercier. I also got this at the, at the Masterclass. This is in the color Sand Glow. He used a bronzy color. This one is more of like an old gold kind of color. But we are going to put eyeshadows on top of this, so I'm not too worried. So Mario did use a blending brush to apply this. So he used a Sigma brush. Um, I don't have a Sigma blending brush, so instead I'm going to use this Wet n Wild brush that I got at Dollar Tree for one buck. Yes ma'am. So I'm just going to get some of the caviar stick onto this blending brush. And Mario also kind of... Um, tested the product on the back of his hand. I'm not going to use the back of my hand because I have eczema 
and I don't want to irritate my skin so I'm going to do my wrist instead so that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and apply this all over the eyelid and because it's going on top of um, the powder and because I'm using a blending brush it's going to be very soft so you can just see the slightest difference and just like with the brows Mario was very specific about layering and slowly building up your makeup and by the way he also uh, mentioned that um, doing makeup and hair for Kim she gets both done at the same time but um, yeah that takes about three hours every single day okay so now that we have the first layer on I'm going to do a second layer so I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can better see what I'm doing so here is the difference I hope you guys can see that this eye is just a little deeper than this one by the way these wet n wild brushes are so good like I can't believe this is only one buck incredible by the way this carrier stick is a very long wearing base so together with um, you know the concealer and powder this is really going to last well okay so next up Mario used some more loose powder to blend out the caviar stick so I'm just going to use what is left on my brush and just go along the crease and that is it then for the brow bone he used a cream color and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to grab my KKW and Mario palettes and use the cream color in here which is called Decade so I'm going to dab that on the brow bone with another Wet n Wild brush then let's grab some more KKW makeup so I got the medium cream contour kit also at um, the masterclass and medium is exactly what Kim uses so Mario used um, the medium highlight stick and he used the shimmer side it looks like this so you can see it's a little bit darker when it's in the shadows and then when it hits the lights it's super reflective so Mario used this just underneath the arch on the brow bone so I'm going to do that as well and then he used the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette I do not have that but I do have the dupe from W7 the delicious palette so I'm going to use this color to highlight and I'm just applying this highlight on top of the KKW stick. This highlight is slightly deep for my skin tone, but this is what he used on Kim, so that is what I'm going to use as well. Mario also mentioned that he likes to do these many different layering steps um, because it makes sure that um, you only require a very minimal touch up throughout the day so now he used um, another Laura Mercier caviar stick in the color Coco I do not have that but it looks to be kind of a deep bronze color so I am going to use the Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow crayon this one is in the color bad girl bronze and again this color is also applied with a blending brush and this one he applied to the outer corner this color is darker so it shows up faster than the other so again he went in with a little more loose powder to set the cream shadow I don't usually do this but this is what he did so we are going to do it okay so then he went in with the Viseart color that he used on the brows so I'm going to use my charcoal brown so I'm just using a little bit of charcoal brown over here in the outer corner and blending it inwards a little bit and on the other eye as well I'm just basically kind of shading in the outer corner and charcoal brown is the perfect color for this so next up uh, Mario said that he likes to use a small crease brush for the crease and then a larger crease 
a larger crease brush to blend it out and I like to do that as well so great minds think alike right right so I'm going to use the small little blending brush from Morphe this is the M507 and Mario he used the more reddish brown from the Viseart palette which I do not have but luckily I do have the color Albanian from the KKW and Mario palettes. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this into the crease very softly with my small brush. I have the smallest amount of product on my brush. So I just dip my brush into that color once and I blend it into this upper crease area. And I just keep blending and blending. And I'm holding the brush quite far down because this gives a softer effect than if you hold it like up here. So to further deepen the crease, uh, Mario used red ochre and burnt, uh, burnt orange from the Modern Renaissance palette. And that would be these two colors. So I'm going to go ahead and blend some of that into the crease. And it's okay if it gets a little messy out here because we are going to clean it up. Mario did clean it up. And I am going to take my MAC blending brush and just help diffuse those edges. And even though as you can see the difference is kind of minor, it does make a difference to slowly layer up your colors. So we are just going to continue with layering. By the way, this Modern Renaissance dupe is really great. I did a tutorial using this palette, I'll link it down below. I really like it, like the palette, but also my tutorial. And yeah, I'm just using this blending brush absolutely clean, I have nothing on it. And I just blend upwards in little circular motions. So then Mario used his master palette by Anastasia, and he used these two matte uh, warm toned neutrals. So Isabel and Violetta, and I'm also blending these colors into the crease with my small blending brush and then I'm going to blend it out with my large MAC blending brush. And you can see that is also darker, so we are adding some depth now into the crease. Then Mario used the color Muse all over the lid, so I'm going to dab this on the eyelid with my MAC flat eyeshadow brush and in true Mario style I'm going to layer and build it up slowly over here I did two layers of Muse and over here I only did one I don't know if you can tell on camera but I definitely can in person and by the way layering goes for all aspects of makeup eyeshadow, eyebrows, lashes, foundation, lip color, everything is getting layered Okay, so then Mario went ahead and highlighted the inner corners, again using the same two highlighting products that was used for the brow bones. So I'm softly applying the highlighter stick from KKW and then popping the powder highlight on top. So next up Mario used a brown pencil eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury on the upper left line. I do not have any Charlotte Tilbury makeup, so I'm going to use this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Bourbon instead. And I'm going to use this along the lashes. And Mario used a Sigma E21 brush to smudge it out. I'm just going to use my MAC 266. And Mario applied several layers of this. So I'm going to apply some more and blend it out once again. So next up I'm going to use Urban Decay's 24 hour, you know, the same exact eyeliner, just in the color Zero. This was also what um, Mario used on Kim. And this just goes right on top, just again along the last line. And then just blend it out. So as you can see it just deepens the color along the last line a little bit. So now I'm going to use the MAC 219 brush to blend some more. Mario just kept on blending and blending and blending. And then the same over here. 
Okay, so next I have written down something I don't quite understand. I noted Kylie Cream Liner to Line Lash Line. But I have no idea what that Kylie Cream Liner is. I don't know if it's black, if it's brown, I don't know if it's, if it's supposed to be smudged or what the deal is with that. But anyways, <laughs> the only cream liner that I have is by e.l.f. in the color black. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that to the last line. And again, I'm using my MAC angled brush. So I'm just doing a very thin line right by my lashes. I think this step might be before the liquid liner just to make sure the liquid liner is as intense as possible because next up he used a blue black liquid liner by MAC. I'm going to use Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. This is just a regular black. I do not have any blue black liners. And again this just goes right by the last line. So that is it for the eyes for now. So Mario uses Code Yendo um, makeup wipes to clean up the fallout and sharpen up the outer edge. I usually just use baby wipes to clean up my fallout, but um, when I went to the masterclass I got these um, makeup wipes. So these are by Ricky and these are just called the Travel Cleansing Wipes. And I'm just going to try and use one of these because as you can see I did get um, some fallout so I'm just wiping all of that away I even got fallout all the way down here <laughs> oh my god I am so happy to see that fallout go it was really dis distracting me I like those wipes so next up Mario reapplied the moisturizer and since I used sunscreen, I'm going to reapply my sunscreen and I'm just going to use the same sponge and go around the eye area. Okay, so they mentioned a few different concealers that Mario liked to use on Kim. And actually, let me just... I feel like it isn't cleaned up probably properly over here. Okay, back to business. So Mario would either use the Laura Mercier concealer, the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, which you know is my favorite, or he would use uh, Makeup Forever Lift Concealer, and he would also do a peach corrector. And since my other eyes are pretty um, dark today, actually, I'm going to use a peach corrector. So I have this Rimmel Insta Correct and Conceal. And I'm going to use this peach color and I'm just adding that right on like the dark part of um, my under eye. So I go on like the circle, you can see the circle, the half circle underneath my eyes. So I apply it there, I do not go in the triangle. Um, yeah, that was how Mario explained it and that's how I would do my corrector anyway and he used the beauty blender to blend it out by the way I have never actually worn this corrector before so we shall see how it works so far so good do you see that that is so impressive it completely cancelled the purple and eye tones now I just hope it doesn't crease so now I'm going to apply some of my NARS uh, Radiant Creamer Concealer in the color Vanilla. I still need to pick up um, the lighter color, but anyways, Mario applied, you know, the triangle. I mean, this is what Kim is famous for when it comes to her makeup. It is the very bright highlighted on the eye. But Mario did say that they use a more... Um, you know, a color that's closer to her skin tone now. Whereas previously he would use a very light color, but now it's more, you know, a more natural color. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. And this is just the first layer. After foundation, we're going to put on some more. And by the way, if you're interested in knowing this, um, Kim's color, um, actually she uses two colors in the NARS concealer and they are honey and ginger. So for foundation, um, 
they used Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation in the color Sun Tan. I do not have that foundation. So instead I'm going to mix these two. So um, this is Marc Jacobs Remarkable in the color Ivory Lights. And this is Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color 1W1 Bone. And I'm just going to apply that. And Mario applied the foundation with a brush on the face and then the beauty blender down the neck. So Mario used IT Cosmetics foundation brush. It's a flat kabuki. I do have several flat kabuki brushes, but I'm going to use my Artiste brush today. This is oval 7, <laughs> oval number 7. And I'm just going to apply this and by the way um, Kim prefers a matte foundation even though she has oily skin just because it lasts better so down the neck he used the beauty blender and I know this color looks very light on me but that is mainly because my face gets so red it's so hot today so I'm really burning up so that's why my face is so red. It actually blends beautifully down into my neck. So of course, we are not just going to apply one layer of foundation. Mario also used a Tom Ford stick foundation. I do not have that Tom Ford stick foundation. But I do have this Clinique stick foundation. This is called the Choppy in the Nude Foundation Stick. And I have this in the color number 2, Abundant Alabaster. Okay, so I just went ahead and tied my hair back into a ponytail. So now I'm going to apply my um, stick foundation by Clinique. And just use your beauty blender to blend this out. Just right on top of the foundation layer we already have on. And Mario also blended the foundation onto the ears and he also brings the foundation down onto the neck and the chest I'm of course not going to bring it down onto um, the chest because I'm wearing a shirt but if you're not then definitely bring it down okay so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and now we are going to do cream contour. So the cream contour that Kim uses is of course her own in the color medium and she uses the darkest one. So I'm going to show you what the difference is. So this is the lighter color and this one is the darker. So light, dark. So the way Mario did this was that he applied um, the product to his hand first then the brush and then the face. My favorite way to do it is to apply it to the brush and then the face, but um, I'm going to try this method. My least favorite way is definitely to go straight in with the contour directly on the face and then blending it out. I think that that's a little bit, you're just making more work for yourself basically. But anyways, I'm going to apply it right here. So Mario goes ahead and contours right on the jawline. This is like one of the tips that changed my makeup game. I love to contour on, on the jawline instead of right below it. If you have never tried doing this, I would definitely recommend that you try it. Then I'm going to do the hairline and let me just get some of these hairs away from my face so I can reach my skin better. And this layer of cream contour is quite light. Uh, Mario did not use that much product. And of course we are going to use powder contour. So it's perfectly fine to have it be um, more light handed. For the cheek contour, um, Mario goes from the top of the ear and then in a diagonal line downwards and in my notes i have written not too much so <laughs> let's tap some of this off and then let's apply it i actually bought this elf brush while i was in new york for the master class i love this brush for cream contouring it's the best okay so then he used the beauty blender to blend it out just with whatever product whatever foundation is left on the sponge. 
And he also used um, the foundation brush to go back and blend. I'm not going to do that. Um, whoops, hold up. I'm not going to do that because I used this kind of uh, oval brush instead of the flat kabuki. But if you use a flat kabuki, you can definitely go back with that and blend some more. So now before we do the nose contour, we are going to use concealer to highlight. I am going to use my No Filter Concealer by Colourpop. So again, Mario did the triangles underneath the eyes one more time, so I'm also going to go ahead and do that. And this time, um, he used a lighter color. Not super light, but a bit lighter. And he also highlights the usual places, so the chin, the nose, and the forehead. And then he uses the Beauty Blender to blend it all out. Okay, you guys, I am so sorry, but I forgot to turn my microphone on, so I don't even know how long I have just been talking without recording my voice. But luckily, I uh, noticed it. So yeah, let's continue. So I just got done separating my mascara or my lashes. 
So now we are going to move on to falsies and Mario often uses um, individual lashes on Kim and he uses Beddington lashes. So at the masterclass I actually got some Beddington lashes. So these are in the style Monroe. As you can see these are not individuals, um, these are a full strip. But I'm going to use them anyways because um, this is the brand that he uses. And plus I do not even have any individual lashes, I never ever use individuals. But um, yeah, Mario uses individual lashes on Kim and he uses um, medium and large or sometimes small, medium and large. And when he does not use individuals, he uses um, three quarters of a lash. And Mario uses black duo glue. I have the white duo glue, so that is what I'm going to use. So by the way, while my lashes are drying, I can tell you that Kim Kim's lashes are her own. Um, it's not... What is it called? Lash extensions. It's actually her own lashes and she uses the Latisse um, Lash Serum. That's why they are so long. That's so crazy to me. I was sure it was lash extensions. So I might have to get on that Latisse stuff. I was thinking about trying the, um, the Revita Lash, but I don't know. I'm not super unhappy with my natural lashes. And also, um, Anastasia does Kim's brows. And she has done her brows for the past 10 years. And Kim gets her brows waxed and she gets them waxed every few weeks. And she also gets them trimmed. So there's a little fun fact for you. So I'm not the biggest fan of these lashes, mainly because of the lash band. It's so freaking stiff and not flexible at all and it's very very curved so it does not fit my eye shape that well. Also just this, um, this style of lash is not my favorite because it's a bit too muted for me. Um, if I do wear false lashes I like them to be a little more dramatic. So these are okay but for these to be... Kim Kardashian's favorite. I'm like, what? Okay, so after the lashes are on, um, Mario went back over with the MAC liquid liner. So I'm going to go back over with my Kat Von D liner. And I'm just going to wait for this lash to dry a bit more before I go back over that. But in the meantime, we can do the next step, which is blending the outer corners. So I'm just taking my MAC blending brush, just blending along here, and apply some more mascara. He also applied a bit more of Violetta. So then Mario went in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25, just underneath the eyes. I don't have that, but I do have the dupe from BH Cosmetics. This is their BH Studio Pro Matte Finish Press Powder in the color number 205. So as you can see, it's a nice light color. And I'm just going to apply that underneath the eyes. And then we are going to do the lips. I'm just going to remove this lip balm. So Mario used um, Spice lip pencil on Kim, which I do have. It's by MAC. And Mario actually rounded, kind of rounded off his um, lip pencil. So you can see mine is very pointy. Um, he went on the back of his hand to make it more, like more blunt, I guess.
then Mario used a lip liner called Naked by Kevin O'Conn. I do not have that, so I'm going to use this Clarence lip liner in the color number 3, Nude. And again, just kind of round it off on the back of the hand. Then Mario used a bunch of different new lipsticks that he had in a little lipstick palette. So I'm also just going to use some of my favorite nude lipsticks. So I'm going to use Max Myth lipstick and also Max Angel, which used to be Kim Kardashian's favorite. And then lastly, Vanilla Truffle by Estee Lauder. And then finally he applied a peach lipstick on top and what better lipstick to use than the KKW and Mario lipstick. This is a very peachy nude color. Then he dabbed out the lipsticks with a sponge. I guess kind of to blot, just instead of using a tissue he used a sponge. Then he applied a little bit more Milani blush. Then he applied a peach lip gloss. I'm of course going to use um, Juicy from the KKW and Mario collab. So then um, they set the face with Tasha's Dewy Skin Mist. I'm just going to use my Mario Badescu. Let's just zoom out a little bit. And as the final step, he curled um, the real lashes together with the falsies. Um, but he used an open lash curler, so it didn't have... Where's my lash curler? It didn't have the sides right here. Um, I don't have a lash color like that, so I'm going to skip that step, but I definitely want to get one. Apparently the one he used is called a Prio lash color. It's spelled P-R-E-O. Okay, so I just went ahead and did my hair, and here we have the finished look. It's pretty dope, right? I think it's a really gorgeous makeup look. So before we finish, I also wanted to show you guys um, the rest of the pieces that I got in my The Masterclass goodie bag because I did get a few other products that I have not shown um, yet. So I got these vitamins. These are called the Oli vitamins. This one is Goodbye Stress and this one is Vibrant Skin. As you can see, I already ate all of these. So if you guys follow Makeup by Mario on Instagram, you will see him advertising for these vitamins quite often. These were so delicious, they taste like, like actual gummy bears. So in the goodie bag, there was also this Ricky Care um, Cognac Cleansing Sponge. I have already tried um, the Cognac sponges, really like them, I can't wait to use this. Also got a lollipop. Unfortunately, not one of those um, appetite suppressant lollipops from, what's it called, Fitzy or something. Whoops, I just smacked myself. But anyways, we got a lollipop. Also got these two um, samples. So this is Bioderma uh, Moisturizing Concentrate. And this one is also Bioderma and this is Shine Control Moisturizer. We also got some Ricky Care blotting papers. 
And I think this is the last item that I have not shown yet. And it's a single eyeshadow by Kiss in the color 24K. So that was all that I got at the masterclass. Except, of course, my um, certificate. A certificate of completion. I'm going to write my name on this and then have it framed because I'm that obsessed. So I'm really happy with um, the products that I got. I think um, Mario has a lot of great sponsors. So even though um, the general tickets um, are $500, um, you do get a lot of um, that money back through the products. And of course, through the incredible experience. I know some people will think that it's way too much money to spend just to go to a masterclass. Um, and that's perfectly fine, but I think it's well worth it. I'm very happy with my decision to go. I think Mario is super talented and um, I think Kim, she actually, she seems so nice. Like she was very attentive to questions and to the audience in general and um, she was very polite. She just seemed very, very nice. And I love the food that was served, that was like a break, um, <laughs> right in the middle of the makeup application, um, to go get some lunch. So yeah, I'm just so happy with um, the masterclass. I think it's a brilliant experience and if you have the opportunity to go, I would definitely recommend it. But yeah, I have a big, huge mess in front of me right now that I have to clean up. So I'm going to do that, um, so I'm going to um, stop the video now, end the little tutorial. So if you like this um, tutorial and my whole experience with the masterclass, then um, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video, so take care and bye bye!